is up guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. I'm starting a season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here and I just had to document this. My opening week against the Jets, uh, playing my style of picking run and using the defensive backs to cover on first and second down. But yeah, if you can notice that, Ken O'Brien for the Jets, we intercepted him seven times <laughs> during this game. Ken O'Brien threw seven interceptions. And that was, none of them was on pick plays either. It was just mostly I picked uh, run and was just using uh, either Wayne Haddix or uh, Ricky Reynolds uh, to cover. Mainly Ricky Reynolds I was using to cover. Let, let's let's go to our team. Uh, let's go to our team data screen homepage and, s and we'll see who who all got them here. But yeah, I just thought, I just couldn't believe that seven interceptions. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That many. We had we had four in the first half, and then three in the second half. Uh, good. I had a good day run in there with Gary Anderson. Nine runs for 170 yards. He was my uh, standout player on offense. Not not a great day with Testaverde. Only 37 percent, 176 yards. Uh, I think a couple touchdowns. We'll check it out. Yeah, Tampa Bay can be a fun team to take through uh, on this game. But, yeah, let's, okay, let's check out Vinny's stats. Yeah, not great. Uh, only 6 of 16 for 176 yards. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Did have a nice long scramble with him there. One, one scramble for 28 yards. But let's check out the our defensive backfield here. So... Mark Robinson, our strong safety, he had one interception for a nine-yard return. Harry Harry Hamilton had one interception for 14 yards returned. Yeah, there, there we go. Ricky Reynolds, four interceptions for 12 yards and a sack. I think Ricky Reynolds was our uh, defensive MVP. And then Wayne Haddix did have one. He had a, also had a sack, too. One interception for 15 yards return. So, yeah, Ricky Reynolds had four interceptions that first game against the Jets. So, that's a pretty good start to the season there, especially on the defensive side. Uh, didn't really control... I don't, I don't think any of my front seven guys had much of a... Uh, yeah, didn't really have any sacks because... Besides the two, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so our defensive backfield had seven interceptions and accounted for two sacks in that first game. Our two, our two cornerbacks, Wayne Haddix and Ricky Reynolds, each had a sack. <laughs> Yeah, the defensive backfield is the strength of their uh, defense. Uh, the front seven, not not so much. But yep, I just thought this was. Uh, I just wanted to document that. I never seen that before. Seven interceptions in a in a, in a game, especially where I was like controlling uh, the players most of the time. Like I, because I was controlling Wayne Haddock. That that interception that he had, I was controlling him on that play. And then after that, I started controlling Ricky Reynolds most of the time. And I'm going to say I had about three of his, three of his four interceptions was me controlling him. So it was pretty fun. That was, a, that was enjoyable. That was a fun game. So... So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that continues. We got a 
next week will probably be tougher than we're playing the Bears, so who knows. Anyways, I thought I'd document that. I thought it was, thought it was worth sharing.